So today I will be sharing with you two garments that I have made. I haven't made them recently. One of them I made recently and one of them I made a long time ago, but I'm just now getting around to sharing it. And that is gonna be the first one that I'll talk about, which is Butterick 6479. I made View B in a black knit fabric. And this dress is really, really easy to make. It's just a straight, like kind of sleeveless dress pullover. And then you just take the little flouncy part, you tie that, not tie, you sew that to the neck edge and then it kind of drapes over your shoulders and that's it. And what I love about this pattern is every piece was cut on the fold. So that was nice because it was easy to cut out and it was very easy to put together. Um, yeah, so I didn't have any issues. I was checking to see if there was anything that I noted that I wanted to share, but no, that was really it. So that's my first make, very, very simple. Now my next make, I did make recently, but the pattern is an older pattern, and this is Simplicity 8610. I actually found the fabric for this garment from Savers Thrift Store, but I didn't have a whole lot of fabric. I think it was only one and three eighths of a yard. So I went through my patterns to see what I think, what I thought I could make up, and I came up with the kimono. I really purchased this pattern because I like the jumpsuit. But when I realized I had enough to make the kimono, it's windy and my eyes are watering. <laughs> I went ahead and made the kimono, but I didn't have enough for the neckband, so I did use some scraps for the neckband area. And I really like this fabric because it's kind of like a linen tweed if there is such a thing it's got all these little multiple colors in it and I thought that that was so nice and what I did was I just added the neckband in a denim like a cotton denim fabric to give it a little contrast to make everything work out because I was a little bit short on fabric but I really loved this and I just had to get it and the only features that are in this pattern are gathers so there are gathers on the front on each side the left and the right front and then there's gathers in the back and yeah it's a kimono so it's really simple you just slip it on and the sleeves are really wide so I like that and it's very very comfortable wow it's really windy <laughs> there is a lining it is a self lined garment so you just use the same fabric for the lining they didn't have you get any different fabric but I didn't have enough so I ended up lining the inside with a different blue fabric so yeah but you can't see it it's on the inside so yes these are the two garments that I have to share with you I will go ahead and show you what they both look like on So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So if you have an Android device and say your friend or someone you know has an Apple device or vice versa and you want to video chat but you can't do it through say for example FaceTime, well I learned of an app called Duo, Google, Google Duo, I said it backwards. So Google and then D-U-O. Duo is the name of the app and you can download it and the other person can download it and then you all can do a video ch chat phone call just as if you were on FaceTime. I thought that that was so cool to know and Google Duo is also available to use via Google's Chrome browser on desktop and laptop computers. Yes, that is so, so cool. So I wanted to share that with you. Thank you so very much for watching and you will see me in the next one. 
If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.